Okay, 5.2 pamphlet and brochure. Uh, they're interchangeable. Remember sometimes when you go to the museum, they give you a small, small booklet that you open, right? Usually threefold, but could be anything, okay? To be twofold, right? So uh, this is a threefold, a trifold brochure. Looks like that. So thing is, you only have to do one side. You don't have to do two sides. But if you're feeling that you're up to the challenge, you can also do two sides. Up to you. Okay. So grade eleven, you're doing a bifold pamphlet. Okay. One that folds both sides, and then at grade twelve, you're doing a trifold pamphlet. Okay. Some of these examples are really good, so you should take, really take a look at it. Uh, my favorites, this one. Right. Well, all these are my favorites. That's why I chose them. Right. But these are really, really great looking ones that uh, we can really use for real events too. So uh, let's take a look. Um, how do we do them on Canva? The good thing is that Canva actually has um, templates, right? So design anything. So you can actually type brochure here. It will come up, right? Um, and let's see, brochure. These will show up. Um, some of them would look like the ones that my students have designed just because they use a uh, template. Uh, one second. Okay, so, but, uh, so, when you do use a template, please save a copy of the template so we know what you were working from. Okay, so I want to do one for sports night, for example. Okay, last time I did that for um, the video, right? So let's take a look. Um, I'm choosing one for sports night. Okay, probably not the nature one, right? Okay, nature is probably for uh, other school events like field trip, for example. Okay. Um, and some of these things. So, for example, this one. You may find that you have limitation when it comes to using some of these templates. What happened here? Okay, quick, great. So, um, and you can replace these photos with the photos you like, okay? Um, just crop, see here, link, block, duplicate, style, okay. How do we, so I would suggest you guys, if you want to put a round picture, go to GIMP and create a round picture and insert it there, okay? So how do we do that? Problem solving, okay? Sports, uh, student, sport, okay. So open GIMP. Let's take a look at, um, let's just use a picture like this. Copy image, file, new, paste, new layer, delete the background, right? So, so I want to actually save a round photo. So I can actually go to the, uh, you probably can't see from here, uh, second one, Eclipse Select Tool. And so I can actually choose a round photo like this, okay? Now if you want a complete, um, like evenly round circle, when you create this, when you create the Eclipse, you have to hold down Shift. You will actually force it to be a circle, rather than an Eclipse like this, okay? So let's just say we want a circle. I can actually move it. Oh. Hmm. 
move it down, make it, uh, oh, sorry. I hold shift by accident. Move it up. Shift the size by moving these boxes at the corners. Okay, I'm happy with this. I click enter. So now my selection tool is this round shape here, right? I can still move it, but I have to go to selection and move the selection here, right? Okay. Cool. Um, okay, cool. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to select up there, select invert, and then I'm going to delete. Okay. And, or I like using cut. Just cut out, okay, whatever I don't like. Okay, or you can do Command X or Control X on Windows, Command X on Apple, right? And and then I'm gonna go to Image, Fit Canvas to Selection. Oh no, Fit Canvas to, uh, to uh, Layers, perfect, like that, okay? Uh, or I can actually use a Crop Tool to crop it even more. Right. I want to crop it like that. Crop more. A little bit more. Enter. Like that. And then I'm going to save it by exporting it as uh, sports one. This is my uh, documents folder. Okay, perfect. And then I'm going to actually go to my document folder this circle folder and I'm going to come back here click on this now we have a circle we have a document that is a circle right or you can actually fit this in, but the problem is that sometimes uh, you have limitation in terms of where the, um, some students told me that sometimes there's limitations. So I'm gonna actually use my own photo and fit it the way I want, like this. Okay? So and so forth, okay? And then, so if you see things that are grouped, I will ungroup it first. And then I will go here and say Braymar Sports Night. Education for service, train your body and mind. Okay. Uh, contact us. I want to ungroup this. Join us. Okay. Mr. Houseby, you can put Mr. Houseby in here. Okay. And then I want to actually put a list of activities. Wait, training. Um, table, tennis, tennis. Um, okay. What else? Uh, oh, basketball, volleyball, soccer. And one more. What is one more? Soccer and okay, football, for example, American football. Okay, so I can put it here. I will size it a little bit bigger. I like it in the middle and more, right? Like that. So, but if I have one more line, for example, okay, I have one more line, I could 
resize this or I can actually make this circle a little bit smaller like that and then balance the, the space up there and down there right make, make sure you don't have too little space here too much space here okay like so and I'm trying to look at the space on the left and the space on the right make sure I have the right amount of space and then I can actually put another sports logo in here if I want to right so um, and tomorrow I will replace these two photos okay you don't have to do the back like I said but do save the original okay I forgot to save the original uh, it's fine I can just load it again and copy it again and paste it here okay and then I can put the word original here or I can just put um, text like that Okay, and then rotate it. To black. White. There's no good color here. Okay, um, there's, there's different colors in the background. From 20 even. Template. Like that. So I when I'm marking I would know, oh this is an original template. Great. I can put Mr. Houseby's photo in here if I want to, right? And the school logo somewhere. Right? Maybe a school logo here in the middle. Okay. Cool. So um, use your imagination, you don't have to follow it. Uh, maybe I want this circle to be here, and then this circle to be here if I wanted to, right? Okay, up to you. And then maybe I want these two to be here, center. Uh, maybe address is on the left, it's a little bit better. A little bit too small though, too big. Okay, and then I can change these photos if I want to do. Uh, photos, maybe sports. I think you can actually replace these photos. Um, oh, I don't want that. That photo is way too, a little bit too big. I can, you can actually just replace them like that. That template will allow you to do that. And so that, that looks oddly good. Okay. But I also like the, the GIMP way because um, um, that way I have more freedom to do what I want to do, right? Uh, sports logo, I can actually put a logo in here if I wanted to, okay? Sports logo, sports logo. I like these logos. Also, I can use the middle one because it's covered. Um, let me see here. This is good. I like this one. If I can somehow manage to take over this photo, that'd be great. So let's see. I just need to get rid of this grid. So remember what I did? I go to pen, go to color erase, and I just need to pick this color. color okay, pick this color. And if I'm lucky enough, okay, and then make this white. 
fight. Hmm. How do I erase this from white? Oh, I'm erasing it. That's good. Okay. So it had gray and also white. So I'm erasing all the white and gray. No problem. Oops. Whatever that is. I can uh, draw it back maybe. I can use the uh, path tool. And then the path tool is a little bit uh, tricky to use because you have to use control command or alt um, to help control it. So I let me see here. Control. Yeah. And you have to drag some of the points to control the curve. Like that. Control here. Yeah, perfect. And then I can actually stroke path with a six point six pixel paintbrush. Maybe. Oh, okay, that's way too much. So maybe three. Okay, but also need to be black too, right? Or similar color as this one here. Stroke it with two pixels. Ah, perfect. That looks good though. Okay, that looks good. I don't know how to. Yeah, that looks good. <laughs> Just my small OCD thing. Okay, and then uh, let's crop this. Crop this into crop tool. Yeah. I don't want a line at the bottom, so that's a good time for me to delete it by cropping it out. Enter, perfect, and export to Sports 1, so that's okay. So remember that the old photo is going to get covered because I don't need it anymore, okay? Uh, you might want to keep it, but that's okay. I don't want it. So there you go. That's our new logo, right? Um, so we can use our new logo anywhere, like here, for example. Wow, that looks pretty good to me. Okay, or here. Or actually, I want it to fit here. To the left. Okay. So I'm teaching you how to steal online images and make it your own. Okay. Looks pretty good in a small size. Okay, because it's pretty pixelated. So uh, I'll move it down a little bit so I can see more of the photo. Of the logo. Oh yeah. And that looks pretty good. That looks pretty dang good. Maybe even lower. I'm using my keyboard arrow keys to control the positioning. Very small positioning. Oh, okay. I got stuck with my mouse for no reason. That's okay, I can move it back, or I can actually undo by doing Control Z, right? Maybe my hand just touched the mouse pad, that's why. Okay, cool, that looks pretty good. And then I wanna actually put very my logo in there, okay? Last thing. Very my logo. Nothing difficult, you should be able to do it. It's one with the re in, uh, redefining imagination, right? Uh, refining, oh, refining imagination. So um, we can use this one. Just need to do a little bit editing. Okay, but now this one, it's a little bit bigger than our limitation. So we're gonna have to do uh, image and then uh, fit canvas to layers first 
and then we have to delete all these white and probably restructure this. So I'm going to go to image, uh, canvas size, and I'm going to have to do height. Uh, let's do a 300 height. And because I want to move this word down, because some of the logo like this, but it doesn't have re finding imagination. So I'm going to do it manually. Do select tool, select this, copy. Oh, actually, let me just delete all the white first, right? So I can do color, um, pen, still color erase as a mode, and I can just erase away the white, right? This is pure white. Sometimes it's a little bit off white, so you have to pick the white from choosing the color, and then use this eyedropper or color picker and pick up the, the white. Okay? But this one is just pure white, and I had pure white selected. So select the here, cut, uh, cut and paste, move it, um, new layer, and then move it down. Okay, so I had selection selected here. I need to select layer so I can move the, uh, move the layer down, move the layer down here, and then move the upper layer here, that looks good, right? That looks good. I'm pointing at the middle of Brimmer College, um, but I think the words are a little bit too big, right? Okay. I don't think I can do it officially for the school, but at least for your project, we can make some decision. Okay. So I go to layer transform. Nope. I don't think so. I go to tools transform. Yeah, tools transform. Um, I I don't want to rotate. Uh, tools transform I want to do scale so, so I hold control and it will scale in the middle without moving it if I let go of control it will move from the corner okay and then if you hold shift it will actually not change aspect ratio but if you let go of shift you can actually shrink it you, you don't want that okay cool so I'm holding shift and also control at the same time so, so I just don't want this Image should be too wide. Enter. Go to move tool. Move it. Move it higher. Oh, I know why the move tool doesn't work sometimes. I have to actually be touching the uh, the, the blue, not even the transparent area. Otherwise, I won't be able to move it. Okay, cool. I like this. I go to image once again. Fit canvas to layers. Okay. Looks like my my software thinks that there's something over there. So what I'm gonna do? Oh. I know because this this logo is pretty long there so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually crop it again go to crop tool enter that's it and then I can go to file export to sports one once again um, I don't want to be going back and forth with images so uh, of files so I just use one file but you guys might want to save the files just in case you mess something up so I like the logo. I want to put the logo somewhere. So I'm holding control. It would actually keep the aspect ratio. If you sometimes let go, oh, I'm, if you hold shift, you might actually crop the photo. So you don't want to do that. So, oh, you don't need to hold anything. If you control it, that's good. I just want to put it in the middle of this panel here, like that. Okay. Or, you know what? Oh, I don't want to do that. I want to actually put it near where where this is. Now, but the, but the dilemma is, the problem is that there's a panel here, and I can't control the panel because, uh, oh, I can. Okay, I thought I cannot. Okay, because um, well, the template. But I guess this is just a, a white rectangular, so I can control it. All right, which is great. So I'm doing this right now. Okay, so that's my brochure that I did in 20 minutes. Okay, if you have any questions, let me know.